Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Schleich Juvenile T-Rex. Now, I haven't reviewed a Schleich figure in a while, the last time I reviewed a Schleich figure was the uh, Schleich Gariel, which I think was back in September. Now this Juvenile T-Rex right here, I think is a really nice figure. Uh, like the uh, Juvenile Giganotosaurus, I don't see this as a juvenile, I see this as an adult. Maybe it's just Schleich, you know, uh, this is just, you know, Schleich's second attempt at trying to make a better T-Rex. And I actually like this figure like this juvenile better than the adult figure. It's not, I'm not saying that I don't like the adult. I think the um, Schleich adult T-Rex is a great figure. I just like this one more. Now, also this T-Rex to me resem uh, resembles Fang from Primal. Um, a little bit at least. As you can see, the proportions are quite similar. But I know that Fang had uh, had a large head in comparison to her body. But as you can see, the green color is similar. Also the striping as well. So yeah, anyways, back to the figure. And of course, uh, on this channel, we always take a look at the detailing first. Of course, we know that Schleich really isn't known for making scientifically accurate dinosaurs, but at least uh, they deliver good details on their figures. And it's evident by uh, the Schleich juvenile T-Rex right here, and many of their other uh, prehistoric animal figures, like their Dunkelosteus. See, across the body, you're getting nicely, de uh, nicely sculpted scales right here. And on the feet, you got nice scales on the feet. There's the small but muscular arms right there. Then on the belly. And you got the uh, osteoderms going down her back right there. And of course you got the head, which is a very nicely um, detailed uh, detail head. See the scale, see lots of small sculpted scales. You can move the mouth and see a uh, nicely done teeth right there. And I like how there's uh, glossy paint inside the nostrils. Gives, gives it a wet look. Now compared to the adult figure, which I'll bring out right now, I think uh, the scales sculpted on the juvenile is actually uh, looks better than on the adult. The adult still has uh, nice details, but I just think uh, the one on the juvenile looks better. See, lots of similarities between the two. The only difference is that this one has a slightly bigger bigger head in comparison to his body, and doesn't have the striping. But as you can see, they're basically the same. See the green colors, the yellow bellies, and of course the uh, osteoderms. Now let's get into the paint job. Now, of course, the figure is green, which I think that green is kind of a stereotypical color for reptiles, even Godzilla. But I think uh, the green wor works for this figure, because I think it uh, complements with the yellow well. See, and it's not, you know, a typical green. Like, I think this is kind of a bluish green, I think? I I I'm pretty sure it's a mixture of blue and green, but, you know, more there's more green to it. And also, there's the striping, which I think is a darker green, I believe. Yeah, like I said before, the color schemes is what make th what makes this figure resemble Fang from Primal. So yeah, I like like I said, I like the colors. So I think it works well for this figure. Now, to me, this is an aesthetically pleasing figure. The proportions are all right. I I know the the feet are a bit too large in comparison to the body, but it's in you know she's in a pretty nice pose. Like she's looking up into the air, sniffing for food, and then of course you got all of these nice details, which are done in a, a rubbery plastic material. Of course, you got the nice color scheme as well. So yeah, I, uh, like I said, this is a pretty aesthetically pleasing figure. And I think it's better looking than the adult. The one, one thing um, I wish this figure had was a, like a better pose. Like, you know, she's not, you know, looking to the right with her head looking up. I wish she was in a more neutral pose like the Juvenile Chicken of the Source. But it's a minor nitpick. It's still a great pose. Let's start with the comparisons. As you guys already saw, here's uh, the Juvenile T-Rex next to the adult T-Rex right here. Just, you know, in a different view. So yeah, that's the adult T-Rex. Next, let's compare this juvenile T-Rex next to the juvenile Giganotosaurus. Which, uh, like I already said before, these two, I see them more as, you know, adult figures rather than juveniles. And um, this ju uh, this Gig Giganotosaurus right here is one of my favorite figures from Schleich. I think uh, this T-Rex right here might be one of my new favorites. I think they're relatively in scale with one another. See, uh, T-Rex, the T-Rex figure is beefier than the Giganotosaurus, but that's how they were in real life. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, the ruffling scale, I think Giganotosaurus should be a bit bigger. Speaking of large theropods, let's compare, let's also compare the Schleich Juvenile T-Rex next to the 2019 Adult Spinosaurus. See, uh, they all look nicer next to each other, even though not really in scale, Spinosaurus is a bit too big compared to these two. But see, um, these, uh, these are all, uh, you know, some of my favorite figures from Schleich right here. Out of these three, I probably like the Giganotosaurus the most, then the Spinosaurus, then the Rex. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review on the Schleich Juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
And yes, I do recommend you guys picking up this figure. He's a really nice, ugly done figure. Lots of good details. And a pretty nice natural paint job. And to me, this is one of Schleich's best theropod figures. Also, uh, Schleich's best T-Rex at the moment. Despite being, you know, a juvenile. I think this figure looks nice next to the adult and uh, the 2019 Spinosaurus and Juvenile Giganotosaurus. And yeah, this figure is not that hard to find. She's on Amazon for, um, I think, $15, $16. So if I had to give this figure a rating, I'd probably have to give it a 9 out of 10. One of my new favorites from Schleich. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.